Today, I would like to share my thoughts on strategy. Having worked across multiple sectors for large global corporations, I have witnessed firsthand how important quality assurance has increasingly become over the years. I believe that much more is needed in the corporate world to deliver a higher level of quality assurance. That's why I've joined Intertech. I'm truly passionate about quality. During 2015, I have visited our top 20 markets and spent time with our customers and our people to really understand our industry, our markets, and of course, our business. I have been really impressed. Intertech is a strong company and has a track record of delivering sustainable growth and shareholder value creation. Intertech has achieved so much over the years thanks to five fundamental strengths that are core to our business. First, we operate a global network of state-of-the-art facilities. Second, we've built a powerful portfolio with leadership positions in many businesses. Third, the depth and breadth of our quality assurance solutions is really impressive. Fourth, our culture is very passionate and truly entrepreneurial. And fifth, we have a high margin and strongly cash generative earnings model. The growth opportunity in the global quality assurance market are truly exciting, and we are well positioned to seize these. Our industry and markets are evolving. We have spent time analyzing the trends we see in our businesses and have conducted research to hear the views of our customers. Our main conclusion is that the industry is moving from testing inspection and certification services to total quality assurance based on assurance plus testing, inspection and certification services. Let me explain what I mean. Our research shows that the structural growth opportunities in testing, inspection and certification truly remain attractive moving forward. No question about that. Our research also shows that there are exciting growth opportunities in assurance. Why? The operations of our customers have become so complex that they need now to go beyond testing, inspection and certification when looking at quality assurance. They are now increasingly focused on risk management to fully comprehend the systemic risks in their global business. We are well positioned to take advantage of the A TIC growth opportunities in the quality assurance market. We have built over the years global scale and capability in the TIC sector and provide TIC services in over 100 countries. In the last few years, our assurance business has been growing steadily. We now operate a workforce of 3,000 auditors who conduct on average 90,000 audits annually in the Americas, Asia-Pacific, and Europe. Assurance is an important area for us, given the increased focus of our customers on risk management. From an earnings model standpoint, the assurance business is very attractive. It's a capital light business and delivers margins above the group average. Assurance represents circa 10% of our global revenues. Importantly, Assurance is the fastest growing service we have in our portfolio and grew double digits last year. The global quality assurance market is an attractive industry, worth circa $250 billion, with four types of growth opportunities. First, we'll benefit from the structural growth drivers of ATIC. I would like to spend a few minutes talking about this across the three distinct sectors of the global economy in which we operate. Starting with the products sector, which represent 51% of the group revenues and 68% of the group profit. The organic growth prospect in the product sector are driven by the need for corporations to build their brands, to constantly innovate, raise their quality standards, meet regulatory standards, and increase their focus on risk management. Our product business will continue to grow ahead of global GDP growth. The trade sector 
represents 25% of the group revenue and 22% of the group's profit. The trade business will continue to benefit from the expected growth in global trade and from the development of the regional trade in Asia, the Indian Ocean, the Med and the Americas. We expect our trade business to continue to grow at a rate broadly similar to GDP. The resources sector represents 24% of the group revenues and 10% of the group profit. The resources business is more cyclical and from time to time we have to cycle through periods of low resource prices. During these periods, our customers reduce their capex expenditures to protect their cash flow. Investment in exploration production for essential resources like oil and minerals will grow in the medium to long term to meet the demand of growing population around the world. Turning now to the other growth opportunities. We see strong growth opportunities with existing customers by increasing our account penetration and by driving ATIC cross-selling. The third growth area is with new customers by either winning new contracts or by convincing companies that do in-house testing to outsource. Outsourcing remains a huge opportunity worth around $200 billion. In the medium to long term, the increased focus of corporations, large, medium and small, on quality assurance will deliver GDP plus organic growth in the ATIC market. The fourth growth opportunity is M&A, which enables us to expand our geographic coverage where needed or to get access to a new type of offering. To reflect the changing dynamics in the industry, we have revisited our purpose, our vision and our mission. Our new purpose is to bring quality and safety to life. Our vision is to become the world's most trusted partner for quality assurance. And our mission is to exceed our customers' expectations with innovative and bespoke assurance, testing, inspection and certification solutions for their operations and supply chain globally 24-7. We have set five medium to long-term corporate goals to drive sustainable growth and create shareholder value. First, we want our employees to be fully engaged in a safe working environment. Second, we want to deliver a superior customer service. Our third goal is to deliver margin accretive organic revenue growth. Fourth, we aim to deliver strong cash conversions from operations. Fifth, we'll pursue an accretive disciplined capital allocation policy for both CapEx and M&A investments. Our CapEx investments will be circa 5% of our revenue. To achieve these five goals, we have developed a strategy based on five strategic priorities and five enablers. Our five strategic priorities are, first, a strong brand proposition that position Intertech as a market-leading quality assurance provider. Delivering our customer promise with a consistent superior service is our second priority. This is essential to build customer loyalty and win new customers. Third, an effective sales strategy to accelerate the organic revenue growth by developing our business with existing and new customers. Fourth, a growth and margin accretive portfolio strategy that targets investments in the businesses, countries and service with good growth and good margin prospects. Our fifth priority is operational excellence to drive productivity. To execute our strategy, we'll focus on five enablers. First, living our customer-centric culture. We have a strong entrepreneurial spirit and we operate a decentralized organization. That means our people are very close to their customers. We believe that delivering a superior customer service will be a strong competitive advantage. Our second enabler is disciplined performance management to deliver margin accretive revenue growth with strong cash generation. Superior technology is an important enabler to increase our productivity and of course add value to our customers. Our fourth enabler is about energizing our people. We plan to invest in capability to support our growth agenda and we will implement a new short-term reward policy. We are deeply committed to sustainability and delivering sustainable results everywhere, every day is our fifth enabler. 
I would like now to share the specifics of our growth and margin accretive portfolio strategy. When managing our day-to-day -day performance and allocating our capital and people resource, we will pursue a three-tier portfolio strategy. First, we'll focus on our large businesses with good growth and good margin prospects. These areas of focus are at the business line level, soft lines, hard lines, electrical and wireless, cargo AA, and GTS. At the geographic level, North America and Greater China. Secondly, we'll invest in fast-growing businesses with good margin prospects. These areas of focus are at the business line level, business assurance, agriculture, building products, transportation technologies, and food. At the geographic level, South Asia, Southeast Asia, South America, the Middle East, and Africa. Third, we'll focus on improving the performance in industry services and minerals, and in Europe and Australasia. To deliver shareholder returns on a consistent basis, the right formula is sustainable earning growth with disciplined allocation of capital. The first priority when it comes to capital allocation is investment supporting organic growth. In the medium to long term, we will invest circa 5% of our revenues in capital expenditures. The second priority is to deliver sustainable returns for shareholders through the payment of progressive dividends. We are very comfortable with our current dividend payout ratio of circa 40%. The third priority for capital allocation is M&A, to strengthen our portfolio in the growth areas with good margin prospects. The fourth priority is to maintain an efficient balance sheet that gives us the flexibility to invest in growth with a net debt EBITDA gearing ratio of one and a half to two times. To conclude, Intertech is a strong company that is on a good to great journey. We have a track record of sustainable growth and shareholder value creation. We operate a high margin and strongly cash generative earnings model. The growth opportunities in the ATIC quality assurance market are very attractive. Our 5x5 strategy will move the center of gravity of the company towards the good growth and good margin areas in the industry. We will pursue a disciplined approach to performance management and capital allocation.